what's up guys? Grizzly Man here and welcome back to another episode here on the Oakenstone server. And in today's episode we have got a lot planned. Uh, the first episode back in a, about a month, month and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, but yes, it is back and I've got some plans for today. Today we're going to be doing a villager breeder for a new iron farm design that I'm going to be doing a mining for resources challenge um, and also I gotta redo the fish farm not only because it broke in 1.11 but also because I've been doing a lot of AFK there before it broke and I maxed everything out uh, so I gotta make a mass AFK fish farm with like tons of chests for storage because I'm gonna have a couple different plans going off with correlation to the fish farm so that, that's what we're going to be doing in today's episode, but uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for supporting me even though I wasn't doing Open Stone or other games that you might have wanted to watch. Uh, I know I've been doing a lot of Sims and Walking Dead recently, but I wanted to get Walking Dead out there because when Season 3 comes out, I want to start doing it as it comes out. Uh, instead of like waiting until all episodes are out. I want to wait, I, I want to do them as they go, and kind of like be one of the first people or so to do that. So I think that'd be kind of good. And then Sims, I've just been really enjoying Sims, uh, so I'm going to continue doing that. And with that, I think we're going to go ahead and get into our projects. Okay, I think I found exactly where I want to have this villager breeder here. Um, well, let's go ahead and just do this, just so I can get that stuff out. Okay, so I want to make uh, this tunnel here. Uh, that's going to be the holding cell for the villagers here. Or I might actually make a one by one uh, so they can, because I want to do a detection thing as well. This is just to fill that up over there. So they're gonna flow in. Uh, just so it looks better. Go like this. Okay. Ah, uh, they're gonna flow in. Oh, okay. So I wanna have it like this. Okay, so now I wanna nine by nine, so one. this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, right there on the edge. Okay. Um, so we won't do anything with this side here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It needs to be a nine by nine. So uh, we want to have it off of this, I believe. So this square here, let's go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to dig this out. And I'll probably place in dirt as well. Uh, just so we can get that going as well. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Okay. So I went ahead and digged it out. D dug it out. And I got the dirt in here. I've also got the water and the carpet placed under there. And it's time to go ahead and put trapdoor on there. And then go down one more. Um, I think it was two. Two blocks down. 
and I forgot the water. Uh, this is based off of Impulse SV's uh, Infinite Breeder. In case you guys were wondering, I don't think I said that yet. Uh, so, yeah, his breeder was really good. Um, it basically it was the best thing that I could find where you can AFK at and you can still get villagers. You won't even have to worry about them. Um, okay. So, they're gonna go right here. And then this is where they're gonna. Right here is where they're gonna halt. And then we're gonna have. glass block here so only the babies go through. They're gonna water block here I think. Uh, oh I needed signs. That's what I needed. I can't believe I forgot signs. How stupid am I? Alright, uh, I guess I have to go back and get signs. Uh, so I will be back in just a second guys. And it is all done! Uh, I just put in the final block, and I'm hoping this thing's gonna work. Um, I probably actually should have tested it out myself. Um, my big fear is that something's not going to work correctly, and it's going to scare the crap out of me. That's my big fear. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to put a wall of glass right here uh, along this wall so I can watch them. Uh, let's go ahead and put the glass here. that glass and actually I'll take that back and just put that there good and now I can watch the farm and it already looks like they're dropping stuff but that's all right pick that up have fun the baby should eventually go and run into there. I'm hoping. Pick it up. There you go. Now can can I put it? No, I can't. Okay. But it should be fine now. Uh, I just need to keep an eye out for that just to make sure that nothing's going to break. Okay. Um, we can just do that. Put in some light sources over here. And let's go ahead and put in glass there. A uh, solid block has to be there. And now I can see whether or not they are working correctly. Yes, good. But, uh, yeah. So I'll probably be AFKing here for a while, um, checking this out, making sure everything's working correctly. And, yeah. So let's go ahead and move on to the next project.
All right. So here is the results after that mining session there. We've got over nine, 10, 10 stacks and five coal ore. We've got five diamonds, one, two, two and some bits of redstone ore, fair amount of iron ore, a good amount of gold and lapis, because you don't really need a lot of that. But yeah, pretty good hole. <laughs> Uh, so, I think we're going to go ahead and move on over into the fish farm. Alright guys, so it is time to go ahead and do this fish farm here. Uh, it broke. <laughs> uh, so with the snapshots, it the 1.11 snapshots, it broke. And I am looking for, I think I've got everything I need. No, I do not. Of course I don't. Why would I have everything I need? But um, in 1.11, the fish farm broke. The, well, the fish farm that I am using broke. Uh, the design was by Panda, and it utilized the iron door glitch uh, pretty much. I guess I don't have any more repeaters. That's weird. But uh, it used the iron door glitch, and they fixed it. So, the Zoom Avoid came up with a fix for it using fence, uh, fences, and that broke because they fixed that as well because that was apparently a glitch as well. So, they fixed that and then no, no one really knew what to do, but uh, apparently there's a new fix for it that cannot be broken, which I think is really good. Um, that's gonna be my fishing rod. But I cannot find for the life of me any repeaters. Uh, which just might mean that I have to do this. So, we'll be using a note block. Um, I'm not sure I need two repeaters, I think. Yeah, I think two repeaters. Mm hmm. Da -da. And then stone. Okay. No. I made three. Okay. That's fine. But, uh, yeah. So I already did a little bit of work over here. I made an item sorter. Let me close that up. I made an item sorter here because this area is going to get moved. This is where the fish farm's actually gonna go. And then there are a couple items that I wanted sorted and put into these chests because I'm actually gonna make this a shop. Well, like a, uh, it's gonna be a uh, storage area, but I'm gonna decorate it as a shop, like a fishing shack, uh, shack, something like that. Um, and just sort some of these items out up here. Uh, puffer fish, name tags, leather, lily pads, I think ink sacks were going to go in there as well. Um, so, pretty basic design for the atom sorter. Items go through here, get sorted here, go down into the chest. Anything that's not getting sorted goes here. And I'm actually going to be building a bulk storage system underneath here, down there. So, we'll be doing that, and uh, let's hope we can get this thing done. Uh, so I'm going to go through these chests, clear them out, and uh, clear this out, and get the fish farm started. I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm going to go here. Door's going to go there. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, hoppers. There. Fence gate, blocks, uh, stairs, no, stairs here, there, and then I need a block here and there. Now for consistency, 
going to use it like that. That's going to go there. Door can go right. I believe it needs to go. No. It's got to open, which means it's got to do that. Right? Uh, I have to check that again. Or not. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I think that's right. Yeah, I think that's right. And then. Need blocks all around the door. And tripwires. Lever will go right. Uh, lever is somewhere. Where'd that lever go? Do I have cobble? I have cobble, yes. Because I have seemed to misplace my lever. Which is kind of weird. That's okay. Whatever. Okay. So I need the lever. thing on and off as we please. Now I'm going to need to do some redstone stuff here. So I need to go to dig this out a bit just so I have some space to work with. This and the last piece of the puzzle is this right here. That needs to go there, and then that needs to go, and then I can fill the rest of this in. That's done. Okay. So that's all done now. And we have a working fish farm. Uh, so I think the next thing is to get this item sorter done. And we'll probably finish out the episode there. Uh, I'll work on designing a bulk storage area down there. And we'll probably do that in a later episode or so. Uh, so let me get this done and we will be... Alright, so I went ahead and finished out this portion of the fish farm. I still need to get the bulk storage system done and connect it to the sorting system and to the item transportation here. So what I've got here is an item elevator connected to the farm. Uh, with the new observer block and I can thank Doc M 77 for this design uh, I tested it. It seems to work pretty good. Uh, I had to move it over because of a 3 by 3 footprint for the glass uh, So I went ahead and just had this go diagonally Which wasn't my first solution, but it's gonna have to do it works. So I'm all happy about that. Uh, so I got that, the fish farm here, I went ahead and sorted and got all these items that I wanted to be sorted done. The only thing that I can say that I was kind of surprised by and I'm going to have to deal with it is that there's going to be an item, one item in each of these hoppers here because the, the design I don't think was meant for uh, two or more hoppers here uh, like for filling the chests. So I think 
I, I'm saying this because I don't know a lot about it, but I'm thinking that the torch, it locks both of these hoppers when it's on. But this one, the comparator readout, is only strong enough when two of those last two items are in there. So it kind of cuts it off and they won't get to go anymore. So, but I'm okay with it. I'll have to be okay with it. So, but I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this new type of format that I'm going to be doing here. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a couple different formats, trying to see if what works best for me and uh, what you guys like the best. So, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.